said I got 38% on this computer. I'm feeling great. Let's move on. I'm going to reduce going on inside like this. I'll make it smaller, OK? Like that. So you guys can see on the side here my notes. I'm writing down the next note. Can you do me a favor? Start the empty clean one. Right? So here, create new, click on create new, and click on the clean environment. No mountains, no nothing. Just an empty, clean sheet of grass. Like a clean of grass. Give it a minute, it's going to load. And I'm going to start with this, because we're going to add it with the site, and then we're going to add on top of it the map of the city of Mrs. Lovell, right? We're going to do all of it in one shot. I got it. It's empty. The whole area is empty. You can see the world coordinates right there, UCS. The Y is upright, remember that. The Y is vertical and linear, the green one, right? Be careful. Don't forget that. Now, it's empty. Let's go put our model in. This is going to be really cool. Watch the scene over To put the model, step four. It says go to import model. You click and click on import model. Double click on it. And it should open like this. Right? I have models I loaded in before. See that? Okay, let's load in a new one. Watch. Import new model. We click on import new model like that. And go and find your mo your model. Task 382 class. This one. Find your site model. This one. Grab the site. Right? Let's open it and insert it. Look what happens when you open it. When you open it, it'll ask you. Type in a different name. This is the fourth time I've done this this week. Right? I've talked this three times before. So now when I type in a name, it, it won't accept, because you already have that name. You already have this name. Change, change the name. I'll type in TO4. So this is cool. You can import the model and type in a different name for it. Right there. Here's another cool thing. Watch the this folder. Right now, we're only going to do this one model, one project in Lumia. But if you're working in a real company, an office, guess what? You might have two or three projects. So look what you do. You do it like this. You make a subfolder. You make a folder. You make a folder called All of Our Project, All of Our Warehouse Project. Another folder called Black Photography Project. Another one called Long Goes Grocery, whatever. Grocery store number two, whatever. Canadian Tire Store, whatever. So you make folders and you import the models into the folder. I don't need that. I'm just going to leave this name. And do me a favor, never turn this on. Never. If you import all the lines, outlines, edges, toy lines, don't. Leave it off. You turn this on, you know what happens? The model will be twice as big for no reason. That's it. One more. Don't press open for long. Press OK. Guess what? The model is loading. It takes 20 seconds. Give it a minute. And when it stops, you can drop the model down. You're not going to see much. Check it out. Watch when it finishes. All you'll see is an empty spot and an insertion point. That's all. Watch the screen for a minute. Watch everybody while your model comes in. You see? If you move it back and forth, you can see the building. So you're holding up this big box of site plans. So just click near the UCS. Click somebody. Click. Once. Click only once. And then deselect. Stop the collection. The model's in. Zoom out. Go back. I mean, it'll go backwards. Orbit up. Look at the model. You'll see it. There it is. We have a model. Well, congratulations. Step one done. We got the model. Right click. Everybody, what's wrong with it? Zoom in closer at the front. What's wrong with the front of it? It's sunken. It's sunken. Thank you. Good point. Remember when we built the model? Where was zero zero? What was the zero height? It was the finished first floor, right? When you load it in, it becomes a Y height. And unfortunately, it's sunken down into the grass. This is not right. This is wrong. Fixing it easy, though. We have to move it up. 
Now here's the hard part. Watch the team. This is the hard part. I'll write down the numbers for you. Remember, the Y is upright. And how much I want to move it up? I want to move up 600 to the up I'm going to move a little bit more. I'm going to make it 610. So read this. So let's model and adjust it to 610 millimeter, but in meters. Lumion works in meters, not millimeters. <coughs> Watch the feet. I'm going to click on the model. Click. Oh, I can't. So select. Click on select and then click on the model. I got it. Now, you can try moving it. Won't help. You can try moving it up and down. That will work, but not accurate. You can move it horizontally. Again, it won't help. Try this guy. I love it. Click. Click on the type in. Can you type in the coordinates for the building? Zero. Height in meters will be not 610 millimeter, it'll be 0 061. 0 0.61. And the Z is 0. So this is different than what we did last class. I want to put the building exactly in a certain location. And if you zoom out, look at the building, it, it does look good. It looks much better than before. So guess what? This coordinate, this blue dot, is not exactly at 0 0.610. So 49 you dig, stop, please don't dig. I know some of you want to dig so bad. Don't, please, please. Tell me, what's wrong with the back of it? Why do I have grass there? Because the asphalt goes down 1.1 meters, right? Asphalt gets down. So it's building with the grass. Please don't fix it. Last year, even before I finished talking on online, some students clicked on landscape and started to grab the height and lower it. Please don't. Don't use lower and lower it down. You can. But it's very difficult to do, and the edge will not be accurate, and you'll have a little dip in the ground. Don't do that, please. So I'm telling you right now, stop. Don't do this. There's a better way to do it in a minute. We'll cut it out. Plus, you're going to look really foolish when you dig down here. And then you have to rotate the building something like 40 degrees. So please don't dig. Leave it. I know it hurts. When I look at it, it hurts my eye. But I'm going to look at it. Yeah. And I love it. It's clean, beautiful. I can just walk around, look inside, look around, everything. It's a beauty. Everybody watch the scene now. I'm going to stop and show you something brand new. Landscape. Open street map. This is one of the coolest things ever. Let me show you a beautiful video I have. It's on YouTube. It's something the company published a while ago. So everybody watch this. I'm going to Google Open Street Map. This is a separate company. This is a not-for-profit organization that gives you free maps. Open Street Map. Open Street 